I bought a Sun Surfer rack and it fits in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Retro Machines, my name is Victor Bart and there's a lot of echo here in the room because I cleared some stuff out because I gonna install a server rack. Let's get the server rack in here and uh, build it up and that will be a challenge. So here we have the bottom piece on wheels, so that's really handy to move around the rack in my studio because it's quite heavy, but you can't move it around when you fill up your whole rack. But still, to position the rack in the beginning, it's perfect. And then you have the feet here that you can screw out and put it on the floor. And here you have brackets uh, where you can bolt it to the floor, but I don't gonna do that. But the thing that's missing on this rack is the system here that prevents tipping over. That's a little bit a downside. I was really hoping that that was on the rack, but I just need to be careful with a rack. And everyone needs to be careful with a rack because when it tips, you have quite an issue. And here we have the roof part. And even there's a light here with a power supply built in with the cable to here. So yeah, it's a nice and complete rack. The reason why I bought this sun rack 938 is that it looks amazing. It has a nice purple color and not boring black and a nice logo here and here on the side panel also really nice big Sun uh, microsystem logos. I really love that. I bought this rack for 150 euros and for a used rack that's a bit expensive because you can get racks of this size for free and this is a 38U unit and most racks are 42U. But I bought more than only the rack. The rack came with a lot of extras. We have two rack shells and if you need to buy them, they are like 18 euros each. And probably I'm gonna turn my small 12U 19 inch rack into an audio uh, rack with my amplifier in here and my CD player and my record player on top. It came with a set of side shells so you can put in a server that has no uh, rack system. Here's a bracket from the power distribution system because this rack has the full original power distribution system in it with a lot of sockets and a lot of power uh, options so that makes the 150 euros a pretty good deal. Here we have some brackets for a smaller switch and also I got this free patch panel so yeah let's see 1100 cat 5 muddler jack panel so yeah, nice to have. Not sure if I can use cut 6 cables uh, into a panel like this. Um, maybe some of you can tell me that if that will work. Otherwise I'm just gonna use cut 5 cables. Uh, because I want to make a few cable runs here to the patch panel. I think that is nice to have uh, some connections to my other room. In this box we have a lot of extra screws uh, for in the side rails and these big bolts are from the chassis itself and a lot of power cables with the c90 plug and i was really looking for c90 plugs yesterday and i was thinking let's wait what uh, comes with this chassis and i have cables here and here and more hmm. this one i think i gonna throw this away Maybe save this uh, cable, but this power block, hmm, I don't think it's that safe anymore. And another box full of rack screws. Here we have some parts from the rack. With a lot of uh, ground cables. More power cables. Oh, nice! Pets cables! And some really short ones. Nice. Let's see. I think it's, yeah, it's cut 5E. So, but still, nice to have short cables. A uh, Nokia data cable. <laughs> A medium remote. A USB card charger. Probably also for Nokia. 
Ah, nice. A Cisco uh, com cable. I don't have one. And some extra plugs to build your own cable. So nice to have all heavy duty uh, stuff. I can't start building the rack right now because there are two pieces still in my car and one of those pieces has the whole power distribution unit and all the cables and power connectors, everything in it. So that's quite heavy. I think it's 50 or 60 kilos. So I need to wait on uh, some help, maybe my father or my brother and then I can take it upstairs. Because that's a really big advantage of this uh, rack. I can take it apart in little pieces and put it upstairs. And there are some racks that are really nice but they are welded and like 175 kilos and you can't get them upstairs. So my brother helped me with getting out the really heavy parts from my car. This part is probably like 75, 80 kilos but a very big power distribution bar in here. and really big cables here and there are controllers and it's the original power distribution with a lots of big connectors so now comes the big ikea challenge without a manual and that is putting the server rack back together uh, okay this part was the most difficult part to take apart and where I bought it uh, the previous owner helped me with taking it apart so it was a two man job. So I will see how far I can come alone and if I need help I can ask my father. But this is pretty complicated with all the big cables and the power connectors here go under here and this is a separate piece so First I'm gonna attach this to here and then I can see if I can lift it up. Uh, put a beam on the other side so I can put the roof in and then I can just add all the parts. But getting this together that's the hardest part. So let's do this. It looks like I can build this rack without any help, yeah, only to carry it, but just to build it, I can do it myself. So my server is now running on the rack on a shelf system but what I found out the depth of the rails is now 68.5 centimeters and that is barely enough because the shelf system is like on the bare minimum. So what I gonna do is take out these rails here and put them more to the back because there are more holes here to do that. And also on this advantage of this rack that it has just screw holes here and not the square holes. So to mount the rail kit of my super micro server I need to modify this a bit. I'm probably the last owner of this rack so why should I don't mod this rack to my needs? So what I gonna do is measure out where I want to have the rack rails and just make some slits here so the hooks of this rails can be fitted in here and then with screws uh, put the rails on place and then I can just use the system to insert the server.
I made slots here in the rails so I can uh, mount my 2U Super Micro chassis in this uh, rack. Let's see if the Super Micro rails will fit my new uh, slots. On the rear of the chassis there were these two brackets where you can bolt it into the floor. But I don't going to do that. But I will mount them here on the front of the chassis. So it is like a little bit of uh, tipping uh, security. So this is my current network setup with my 48 port netgear switch and my 4 port uh, 10 gigabit uh, micro tick switch. So I'm gonna take the netgear switch and put it in the rack and the little micro tick switch will stay in this place for now because I need to get longer fiber cables. So here we have my netgear switch with my custom fan mod. So the whole switch is cooled by one 12 cm fan and that is running great. But it's running since 2012 right now, it's now 2019 and I never opened it or cleaned it. So let's see how much dust is in the switch. Okay, that looks pretty clean. So yeah, the fan mod is successful. So uh, let's clean the switch with my air compressor. Hmm, let's see. I think these blue caps uh, are a little bit uh, bulging. So maybe they need to uh, be replaced someday. So I ordered the rack mount air from uh, China for this switch. And I ordered them in Netgear Blue. So what did I cut from them? Cray. What? I ordered them specific on eBay in the color blue. And they sent me the grey ones. Arrgh! So I complained and they wanted to refund or send the other blue ones. So I said just refund half of it and it's okay. But still uh, it's not blue. But let's install them. This rack comes with the original power distribution system and we have a lot of sockets and a lot of big cables in it and I want to connect my UPS. I need to figure it out and get maybe some extra cables or make some cables to uh, get it working. So for now I am gonna use this Olson data protector and it has a mains RF filter with spikes and transit suppressor. And I bought this on one of the last PC dump dagen in Amsterdam. And that was like an expo with a lot of old hardware and new hardware. And that was just once a month and that was so much fun. But that's over for many years now. But this is still one of the last items that I have from there. And it's pretty cool with a lot of sockets and protection. So let's install it in the rack. I found an issue with the door and it won't close because this rack air is sticking out too far and it hits here on the door side. But what I found out if I flip over the door that it flips to this side it isn't an issue. So the door can be used on two ways but only one way is the way where you can actually install stuff. So I need to figure out how I gonna do it. But for now I will let the door open. So let's get the network up and running again. The green is from the internet. This is an Ethernet connection to a switch for uh, like TVs and uh, my father's PC. And this connection will go to the micro tick switch. And then we have all the connections that are now needed working. 
and later I will do the rest of the connections. So in the rack we have the network part right now. The micro tick is still there because my fiber cable is not long enough so I need to get longer fiber cables. Here we have the monitor and I still need to connect it, maybe get a KVM switch or something. Uh, I want to replace this uh, white uh, rack shelf with a black one because the white one looks really ugly in uh, this setup. Here we have my main file server, under here we have my backup server and in the bottom we have my UPS which I will test out later and also I will figure out the whole uh, electrical system in this rack because we have some modules here with switches and stuff like that. But I really love this rack. I think for 150 euros it's a really good cool deal because this is a really good looking rack and not a boring white standard rack with no features because this has a lot of features and a really good build quality but I still need to figure out the door situation because I want to have it closed and then the uh, logo will light up so not sure how I gonna position it yet maybe like this maybe like this but this rack server if I pull it out it takes a lot of space so not sure uh, how I gonna do that yet but for now thanks for watching and if you like to support me you can use my Amazon affiliated links or you can support me on patreon each month with a little bit of money uh, you can follow me on Twitter and you can join Ray Machines on Facebook.